actually uh, jump in and talk to us during the, pro- the uh, broadcast. Now, uh, I want to jump into a uh, quick discussion real quick because I want to get your I want to get your opinion, Johnny. Everybody's opinion in the room, but also yep. especially uh, Mr. Cobb, your opinion because you're one of the few individuals that I know is versed on everything. I know so, everything about everything. <laughs> everything about everything. Yes, um, the, the the humble uh, and, and and meek as as all. Um, but no. Um, okay, Samurai Jack, Invader Zim, uh, yeah. Ben Ten. These are some shows that are being rebooted and uh, brought back to uh, to broadcast television. Um, now in different forms, they're not all just there. We're, we're bringing back the show with new episodes, which yeah. actually would be kind of cool in some cases. Uh, but that's not what they're doing. Uh, they're actually doing a new Ben 10 series after it's only been off mm-hmm. the air for like what four years? No, it, well, Ben 10s. It depends on what you're going for because mm-hmm. original Ben 10 has been off for way longer, but they had a kind of continued series. Well, the problem with that is it was a um, it was Ben bad. 10 was, it was ongoing and canonical. It was bad. No, though. no, Ben 10 was awesome. What are you talking about? Hater, hater! How dare you! <laughs> I'm all, where are my army tricks right now? Fight. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, blows will be thrown. Fur will fly. But, um, no, what I'm getting at is a lot of shows yeah. are being redone and re-released. Nostalgia's big. To the public. MSG Nostalgia's re-kick? big, but I think this MS... Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's kind of its own special deal. Yeah. But it's, it's not really... How do I, I don't know how to put this. It's it's like a re boutiquel. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like a rehashing for a new generation. I think they call that a soft reboot. Mm. They call Instead that, of a firm reboot, I call it a but, yes. I call it a but, Hard backward bottle. Speaking of the rebooting the reboot, uh, yeah, Again? yeah, no, they, they, no, they've been trying to reboot, reboot for for eons. Okay, I myself followed reboot until the bitter, bitter end. Same, so there's, same. There, yeah, there's yeah. no reason we want to I get just, back. Matrix, come on. But hexadecimal. What I'm getting anyway. at is, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Is this a good thing? It's a mix. Is this bag. introducing new generations, or is this a bad thing where it's cheapening the effect of the shows? I think it varies and... by show, though. Okay, well, well then. Because Samurai you, Jack, then. let's just hit on Samurai Jack for example. Uh, yes. Uh, for those who haven't been watching it, uh, this doesn't no spoiler whatsoever. It is a little bit more adult content than mm-hmm. the original series, which had a lot of subversive adult content. But this one, and again, this is really not a spoiler. He like bleeds a ton. Yeah, and it is a lot of like existential crisis, and like it's really interesting, and I think is a very interesting narrative to explore now, Mm -hmm. as it feels like Samurai Jack has grown up with its audience, whereas other things that are being rebooted, like Ben Mm Ten. Are they just making another kid show? Because, you know, here's where you get into the issue of, like, reboots, rehashing. Does it fa- is it going to fall into the kind of, like, Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go? Mm. So it really... No, that. Exactly. Oh, no, but exactly. But then, but then Samurai Jack went the other direction and kind of took it in a more adult... And I don't want to say adult because it's still, like, easily a show for teens. But it has It that, is, but they've gone, like, Tarantino levels of blood. Uh, the yeah, they have, actually. It's yeah. it's it's rough. And it, it, in a good way, though, I feel that it explores a lot of things that couldn't be touched in the original. I think that's kind of the crux of it for me. Mm-hmm. Is the reboot or the rehashing or the soft reboot, the gentle reboot, <laughs> is it being done to explore something that was not able to be explored in its original narrative? Mm-hmm. Is there something that in 2017 we can do that we couldn't then? Or is it just... You know, nostalgia's hot right now, so let's bring back the Muppet Babies. Okay, and it's pose- easier to reboot something that you already own than yep. to invent yep. something new. Well, okay, it's less that's, risk. That, that was, that was it's my original problem. Risk. It's basically going back over ideas that had their time. These are things that were presented to the public yep. that had their fan base in their run, and it was awesome. And then now it feels like a quick cash grab. You actually posed the point that I didn't mm. think about, mm. and my original point was. Uh, or at least I'm obviously of the uh, mindset that this is a bad thing. That this is cheapening the the memories. But Samurai Jack is uh, amazing. Samurai Jack is good, but Samurai Jack was one of those shows that ran and then was canceled before it got a chance mm-hmm. to come to a natural progress, to which a natural is, culmination. Which is true, but that kind of touches upon what I meant by what can we do in 2017 that we could not do then. Mm-hmm. I don't want us, as someone who really did enjoy the original Ben 10 series. I could see them doing a really interesting show in 2017, exploring more. They never really went into too deeply, like, this kid can turn into... Doesn't that, like, mess you up psychologically? No, that, like, Oh, oh, okay, you mean this, Ben... This, yeah, like... They touched ben, on it. They, not, didn't, they didn't delve deeply This is what I'm talking about, though. Because it's still a kid's show. But, You're talking about... The, you I'm want not to talking go about, deeply but, cerebral. I don't mean, like, like, super, but, like, if you aimed at a demographic ever so slightly more mm-hmm. than Ben 10 did, let's say Ben 10 was, like... 
you know, seven to 15 as like a general audience. Whereas what if it was aimed more toward that tween audience these days? Mm -hmm. I feel it could have been a richer, more interesting show that appealed to an even wider demographic. I disagree. And I'll tell you why. The, the key example that we actually have seen that we still have to this day uh, that it had that has had. The, well, there's Kevin Eleven. The, uh, hmm? the character. Yeah. What about him? He 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 gets real hecked up. Oh, no, no, I'm going outside of the series. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've seen so many variations, so many reboots. Yeah, the newer so series many... quite good, actually. Yes, but think about the bad ones before then, the live action. There was the good series in 2003, which they followed up with what? The follow-up to that, where they changed the production company, they changed but, the animation, they changed the writing, and, and, to be and sure they though, changed you... the theme and made it more kitty. and then you got um, Fast Forward. I Supposedly just, the same series, but a completely different series, and it was garbage. The I distinctly recall garbage. both of us Farm going to see the newer Ninja Turtles movie, though, thinking it was going to be a steaming pile of garbage and enjoying it. True, but we enjoyed it because <laughs> it was a steaming pile of garbage. It was just a hilarious steaming pile. It is very quiet in this room, all right? Does anybody else have uh, differing opinions, same opinions? Want to tell uh, me how right I am? Uh, <laughs> I, I think it depends on whether the original creators have... You know, that's, at, that's whether they're point. consulting yep. on the project or directly involved on the project, if they have any involvement whatsoever, uh, then me personally, I would be on board, especially for Invader Zim. Okay, but so if I, it doesn't yeah, have the Invader original Zim creator, I'm out. Yeah, like Invader yeah. Zim, for example, there's been a teaser trailer released, and it's quite obviously the same voice cast. And in in true fashion, the creator is just tweeting about how fake it is and how it's not real and how it's not happening. So. Uh, John Jonathan Jonathan just John in. Yeah. He's he's just a jerk and he spells it that way to annoy you. No, I'm just kidding. No, but no, he just, no, he does. No, I know. The guy I know. is just I, an angry, angry job. If you want to if you want to carry teenage yeah, angst to the, after you've made millions <laughs> and you are forty something want, and still acting like a like a seventeen year old, that that's your business. A really, really brief, fun mix macabre story is that many years ago pre pre, pre Invader Zim uh, when he was still just putting out Johnny the Homicidal Maniac and it hadn't even been collected yet, I literally ran into him at a Comic-Con. Like I bumped into card. him <laughs> and I helped him pick up all his stuff and he was like, come by my booth, I'll give you a comic. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, weird goth guy. <laughs> all right, ginger goth, I don't need this. <laughs> he was wearing like, it was like 90 degrees, he's in a trench coat and I'm like, whatever. And of course it turned out to be him and like if I had gone by his booth and gotten like a signed comic, that would have been super cool. Well, but still though, the invite, no, I don't, I don't blame you. This hey, was like I don't even know how many years ago this was. This, space. this had to be like I'll show you ninety eight or something. Like this had to be oh, like just before uh, like Zim big. took off. This Actually, is, just before uh, Squee well, took off. Yeah, this is like we're talking like ninety eight, ninety nine at most mm. when this happened. This is not recent. <laughs> Herb was just a baby with an afro back. Then. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, no, but like that's a really good example. Like Zim is very clearly being done by the same crew. That is not always a good thing. It was the same cat that brought back. Um, uh, well, Biker Mice from well, Mars. that's the thing. That was criminal <sighs> and a tragedy. Yeah, I know, I know. Just, <laughs> I love just, the original just, so you, much. Use the pain. Use One of, the anger. If, if I have to go to like my secret and happy place, it's me eating microwavable, <laughs> microwavable mini hot dogs branded with Biker Mice from Mars. Oh, I don't know if any of y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I do. Talking about. Yeah, those are, that's my happy place right there. It's like <laughs> watching Biker Mice from Mars, eating the Biker Mice from Mars branded miniature individual microwave hot dogs. See, I'm all I'm all about the uh, the Ghostbusters, uh, excuse me, the Ninja Turtles pies and the Ghostbusters original ecto cooler <laughs> in the boxes. Um, that wasn't kosher. Okay, look, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I'm black. You could only have one limited thing at a time. You grow up and poor. Yeah, you grow up poor in the hood. Okay, uh, uh, Ninja Turtle pies are. A I, delicacy. Went, I walked uphill both ways. <laughs> <Rare. laughs> Ninja Turtle pie. It's like it's, it's like what's that? These are rare miniatures. It's a freaking <laughs> Polly Pocket. Uh, but yeah, I think I think what it's looking like is it has to do with creator intent, mm -hmm. and it has to do with. Also, the way in which it's being expanded or rebooted. Is it a money grab? Is it Ninja Turtles being crammed out so they can throw out more toys? Oh, or is it Samurai Jack, a labor of love? So it's really, we're going to have to explore it on an individual basis. I do feel that there's been this wave of 80s, 90s nostalgia that's been just going real hard lately. Oh, oh. And it's obvious that this trend is going to continue with the reboots and the remaking and mm -hmm. the the mining uh 
the 80s, 90s demographic mm. of content to the put out new strip stuff mining there. of everything you <laughs> yeah. cared about to make a fast <laughs> Look, buck. I want that Kid but, Icarus movie, all right? I'm holding out. Stop. Actually, you know what? If that I, 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 I would stop. I would patronize that just for the theme song. <laughs> okay, okay, Kid Icarus featuring the uh, the NES pro wrestlers <laughs> and then the music from Blaster Master. Uh, just as like, yeah, no, this is, this is no, this is a good idea. I'm trying to write this down. Um, you take this to the bank. Ninja, okay, want to introduce Ninja Kid as a cameo guest star? Who else we got there? Hubert, Hubert, Hubert is like is like the uh, the neighborhood slut. Uh, why are you like this? I'm sorry. Why you like this? I imagine Cuber as like the angry old man that's swearing all the time. Really? That that is with the, to with be just fair. those like asterisks and yeah, and yeah. ampersands and get off my bleep bleep bleep. Yep. I just want it's to point out, this little... is the prestigious show you all agreed to be on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. So then I guess um, uh, next thing to broach there is how long is a legitimate amount of time to wait before they reintroduce? Oh, they're going to – it's it's like five minutes. They're they're already rebooting The Mummy. That's the Mummy came out – it's not a reboot? Well, it's a reboot it's of a reboot. the old Universal Monsters. It's not a reboot of the Brendan oh, okay. Fraser movie, if that's what you but were thinking. But that's still... Okay, I didn't know that. But wasn't the Brendan Fraser better. reboot? Yeah, Brendan no, Fraser one it was, was... It was meant to be its own mummy story, as opposed to the mummy from the old Universal horror movies. Well, I like right. This is I like why I stick the, to werewolves, guys. Well, this I like is the why I stick to werewolves. It's also, oh, yeah, because but, but it kind of follows... Yeah. That Underworld series is so uncomplicated. Well, every mummy movie tends to follow a formula, and it was kind of satirizing all the mummy convention movies, but it wasn't technically supposed to be oh, see, I thought bringing it was, that I thought it was the mummy. I thought it was the mummy. It is I thought not. it was like that that mummy. Well, they're trying to launch a I don't want to be rude Universal Monsters and just assume universe. about mummies. Yeah, that I heard. Exactly. Yes, they're I, I, for some reason they give think me that, that creature from the Black Lagoon. You know, shared universe Surfing. to rival the Marvel one, yeah. which I'm not quite sure what uh, they that, think. That also, also I think is a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if they want to introduce these monsters, let them be organic. If they're actively trying to bring, like, some of the coolest well, things was like um, uh, Abbott and Costello meet. Don't talk too soon. I was about to say because you know? uh, the more they do this, the more likely Monster Squad reboots coming. Oh, Ooh, Squad. yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> the good no, stuff. No, no. Wolfman's got no Look, if yeah, they, right, if, if, Johnny if, and I'll go. <laughs> you don't have to go. If they bring okay. back the Goonies. Cool. Mm -hmm. I will support that. Monster Squad. That that ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit, a bit of like dread. I got, I got the best. It. Goonies cross Monster Squad. Goonies versus Monster Squad. Yes. Take that to the bank, Hollywood. Who are you people? Yes. <laughs> people okay. who enjoy fun things maybe, and may zest for life. No, no. Yeah. Maybe maybe little monsters cross with gremlins. Oh, oh, you God. take a slice of pizza. Yes. You slap Dracula in the face with it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like go home and watch Monster Squad. I'm like so excited now about this. Well, I'm just gonna well, take it all, put it in a blender, and whatever comes out. It will be horrible. Yes, you're right. <laughs> they did that. It was called Stranger Things. It was wonderful. Stranger yes. Things. You know what? Like Everyone it. loves Stranger yeah. Things. I liked it. What is Stranger at, Things but end? an amalgam of AIDS? I was bored, yeah. man. It what? was just like this drug out. Oh my god. Yeah, it was nothing so good. but a blender of 80s tropes. Yeah. It didn't actually say anything or what? mean anything. Yeah. I'm an 80s kid. I hate all like, of yes, you right now. Yeah, that's we why all most people like None of you are my friends. Mm. I'm, so, I'm we are, sorry. We are it was enjoyable, now. but it didn't mean anything. The most enjoyment I got out of Stranger good. Things was laughing at the lack of appreciation for Barb. Who was just there and thought, oh, okay, she's oh, going to be the curmudgeon friend who glasses. teaches them a, who teaches oh. them a Bible lesson by the end. No, I, she's just dead. I just that's got by the view that's a spoiler of the model. Mm -hmm. You can't discover what's working and what's not in the process and get audience reaction and adjust to it because you have to make everything front loaded. Well, that's the problem. Everyone thinks the Netflix model is, oh, all these great shows, they go to Netflix and they make a mint and everyone loves them. <laughs> it's like, no, there's these few shows that we know. There's like, what? 15, 20 popular Netflix shows out so of how many hundreds? Largely, I actually real... think that it has Im been improving television, but mm. the one of its downsides is there's no way to course correct because you have to front load it. So now they're in this, wow, Barb is super popular and we killed her. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. spoiler alert. I have, that's, if if, they, if, if you haven't that? binged Stranger Things and you care about it by now, you are, you've already messed yourself mm -hmm. up. <laughs> but uh, I have a real question concerning Stranger Things now yeah. that we're on this topic, though. Mm. Uh, let's go around the room. They have not rebooted Stranger uh, Things. No, 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 no. Seriously, <laughs> I've noticed a correlation between this going around the room. Yeah. Do you like the movie Aliens? Yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. Absolutely. I'm yes. a communist yes. brownie hound. Do you think I like am? Of course. Movie aliens. Yeah. Do you degenerate? like the movie Prometheus? No. Yes. No. I love it. Everyone no. who loves Prometheus also loves Stranger Things because it's that same kind of drawn out narrative uh, of the I get it. Lurking, okay, so it's a matter spooky. of taste versus and not ta having taste. Yeah. I, 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 I get it now. Uh, I wouldn't read too much into Stranger Things and associated with the uh, 
It's tasty. Very, I know. It's awful. A near masterpiece like Prometheus. <laughs> I Prom- really love Prometheus. Prometheus, like, yo, yo, her, 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 Johnny and I are our yo, best friends. You want to cut guys. the fool's mic for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so as we were saying, you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, How dare you? I have a secret chalkboard and I just like raised the points. That is, that is broadcast and recorded for the ages. You realize that in uh, like uh, a few thousand years, somewhere... <laughs> They're going to be like, Johnny and I love Prometheus. When the aliens come for us, we will be spared yeah, because little, we love little, the good little, movie. Little purple hermaphrodite half men in, in, uh, in uh, Alpha Centauri are going are gonna to acknowledge that Just you, Just because sir, you're uncomfortable with your alien xenomorph sexuality, Pat, doesn't mean you have to... <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? I went through puberty, okay? That queen with the uh, with the tongue-in-the-mouth thing, I, I, I had visions. But, you know, at some point we have to grow up and realize that, okay, uh, cinema... Cinema is cinema, and garbage is garbage. Where was it? <laughs> we had a topic we were actually talking Chris, about. The hard thing about that is that you do grow up, and sometimes you look back at the things you loved as a yeah. kid, and you realize, that was crap. And if they produce <laughs> it again now, if they reboot it, and they reboot it like it used to be, mm. it's still going to be crap. Very and if true. they reboot it to where I would like it now, it's not what... It's not the same mm-hmm. thing that I fell in love with as a kid. Mm-hmm. One thing I found, the single merit of that, that I can kind of get behind, is when you reboot these things for the sole purpose of reintroducing something to a new generation. And I acknowledge that mostly that's done for marketing purposes. Uh, they brought back Thundercats a few years ago. Yeah, it didn't go well. Which, it didn't go well, but the original Thundercats were very popular because the show, well, besides the cool last theme song, <laughs> that it had, it, it was completely undeservingly cool theme song. Yeah. Um, it was a show where the, to- the toys sold really well. So yeah, after that was canceled, you forgot them. about it for a long. You didn't really. I had every single one. I couldn't afford a damn thing. Oh, we we got them second. Rich, rich dude, look at this one. Yes. Okay, all right. I live in right. a palace mm-hmm. filled with Thundercats. Mm-hmm. All right, money bags. <laughs> um, I watched Netflix the, had uh, Secrets of Isis, which was a '70s kids show uh-huh. that I loved as a kid. I got through about three episodes of it for the nostalgia value and realized. This is awful. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> no, they were they were not great. There was Isis that ran. Uh, ISIS and that ran Shazam. Uh, Shazam. Oh yes. Uh, and Melissa and I just became instant friends. Um, Meanwhile, I just rewatched all of the Highlander cartoon series. So, like, what I do I know? I don't I know still what's have good. Not seen that. I looked for it. Well, like you said, God. I looked for it. Like you said, I couldn't find I'd, it. I'll burn it for you. But I, I appreciate it. Thank you. you mean you will let me borrow your legally acquired copies? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. They're, they're, they don't care, Pat. Uh, uh, someone, someone, someone out there. No, Pat, the, the day someone... The magic someone, internet theory look, just left it on this my is, heart. This is Trump, Pence, and America. <laughs> I, Pat, the day I, I someone no comes chances. after me for the Highlander animated series. <laughs> you know, I'm I kind of I, I kind of want it to happen. There was no there was no better come, story come I would love me. to tell in jail. Come for me. Yeah, no greater story. Man, I have I'm going to tell you what happened. How I ended up in the cell block animated seat. series. All right, there were four episodes of Wishbone, right? <laughs> what's, what's your story? Man, okay, okay, look what happened, right? It was Were square one. Four? I was trying to teach my no, nephew what's the math, story, right? Wishbone? Yeah. Oh yeah, I um, was the red oh, badge. No, I know. I, I, I missed it the first time. I got it the second story? time. The red badge of courage. They showed. Uh, 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 <laughs> they showed a uh, a, uh, a what was it? Yorkshire Terrier. Jack Russell. Jack Russell. Thank you. They showed a Jack Russell Terrier a white catching dog. a gun butt to the face <laughs> on camera. I'm like, this is my show. I am all in. My the favorite best. was the Scarlet Pimpernel. The, the Scarlet best Pimpernel. thing was they did these tie-in books where they sort of gave a simplified version of like these classic novels, and they would do the Wishbone thing where he was, in, you know, a character in the story the same mm. way he was, except he they was. They did Wishbone Cliff's notes. Well, sort of. It was more just like somebody retold the story simplified, mm. but Wishbone was doing his traditional thing of being a character in the story. So one of the characters was just a little dog, and it was considered totally normal. Normal. Nobody noticed. So they talk like when he was Charles Darnay in A Tale of Two Cities. You know, they would talk about his paws and his ears and his tail, and he would just be this little dog in A Tale of Two Cities that like had adventures and married a human and like you know nice. nobody commented on it, and I loved it. <laughs> oh, man, you saw me something. I want to check those out now. You should. They were great. This is the future liberals want. Well, the most I would. Yeah. Why is this a bad future? It sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's like that. Little dogs liberty. having classic literary adventures. Sign me up. Merry yeah. humans. <laughs> All right. Well, we've gone a little long on this. Yeah, we should probably right. wrap it up. The thing I was getting at with the Thundercats thing was um, they bring those back to sell toys, but also uh, the show has become popular with generations that carries over. So that becomes the thing that they appreciate when they brought it back. It was a good twenty plus years after it had gone off the maybe not twenty, but close to twenty years no, after just it had about, gone off the yeah. yeah. Uh, the first time, so they brought that back, and a new generation is is uh, is introduced to it and appreciate and can appreciate the new spin taken on it. 
Thundercats was a boring show. Loved it Yo, as a kid, but I fully Yo, that movie was so good, though. The movie with the TV movie was so good. Oh, the live action with one, With the Lunatax. Yeah, the... No, the one with the, the, the real movie, the, the Thundercats, the movie, with the, when they go up against the that Lunatax. Wasn't... I remember that. The Lunatax were weird. Why? It was the best. Chilla was the best. Oh, they were st- the Lunatax were I can were name all of them. Oh, man, why do you like this? You, you, are, you were trying to... Just... If I hear any more obscure TV series shows it's just coming Cats. up... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with... What show it's do you think Thunder you're Cats. on? Yeah, oh, Thundercats is an obscure. I'm, I just have this fear it's the that one of, of you is gonna like is gonna like be like, "Oh, remember Fraggle Rock? It was so great." And I'll be like, Please. "Fraggle Rock was the worst." Dun, 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 right, thank dun, you. Dun, I do aspire dun, dun, to grow dun, dun, up dun, dun, to be the Uh-oh. singing trash heap, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I see Fraggle Rock, a lover over here. Fraggle yeah. Rock was amazing. Yeah, I was trying to think of like oh, okay. obscure TV yeah. shows to throw at you. Yeah, dude. Uh, the Tomorrow um, People were rebooted Fall four Guy. times. I watched Squad. Tomorrow Tomorrow People. There's a new one on Who Netflix cared that right much? now. They had two episodes in the original and they played them like endlessly. There was the original, then there was the one on Nickelodeon that I grew up watching oh, that I really liked. I no, no, that's not the original. There was an really? earlier one. The 70s yep. version, yeah. That's I the original. That. That's the original Tomorrow People. Wait, this mostly, this completely ridiculous this episode with very young Peter Davison, aka yeah. the Fifth Doctor, in his first TV appearance. Yep, it's the most the ridiculous, point is, it's, awful. It's, it's been rebooted four times. I just mm. want to know who wanted that. Like, there was more than two episodes. Make a brain have his own. There's audiences for everything. One thing I found we the had weird a long bees, discussion about there Power were four Rangers. separate storylines. Power Rangers has been around since the 70s. We oh. didn't get it until the 90s. That was a Super Sentai series, and where we knew it as different. Uh, shows with different uh, teams of kids. It's just been one endless uh, uh, stream in Japan. Yep. Where it's like every every year was a different season. Every season was a different team. Mm-hmm. And then we're just like, well, you know, we got Jason and Trini and all those. Mm-hmm. And, and he swung them up because it was popular over there. It never friggin' ended. Even now, or maybe not now, it went to like 2013. But <laughs> from like, we're talking from like 1972 to 2013. Okay, wow. that's a legitimate run. Um, but Doggone it. I had a nice point I was going to close out on and like literally brain fart. Well, let me talk about Power Rangers for a second. Um, <laughs> well, anyways, uh, okay, I'm of the point. It still seems like a bad thing to be. It's good to bring some things back for nostalgia purposes. And then you give them like a TV movie. You close it out. You know, you wrap up a story. When it's something like Biker Mice from Mars, you see the worst case scenario. You know, where, where versus Ninja Turtles where is is a perfect example of when they just won't let something die. The only good ones since the first show which I do acknowledge was corny as hell, have, been, have been flukes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. shout out to Cowboys of Moo Mesa. <gasps> I remember that. Cowboys of Moo Mesa ran alongside Crow. Generation of furries. How about, how about this for a reboot? What's up? Why not reboot Looney Tunes? Like, they the did that. It was called you, Space Jam. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a movie. That's, that's disgusting. I'm you. talking about like the classic. Give me more Looney Tunes. I need Wile E. Coyote. I need Bugs Bunny. I need. Because they kind of did that though a couple years ago. Yeah, right? I yeah. think they kind of are around. Maybe not consistently, they? but they also did that. It was it was called Tiny Tunes. Well, that does not um, count. No, 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 that, no, no, that, that totally counts, and I'll tell you why. Here's where that, my, here's where my cartoon historian comes out. That was the out. update. To the originals for our generation. Absolutely. The originals were just serials to be yeah. thrown in this filler between um, newsreels mm-hmm. when folks would go to okay. the theater because they didn't have home televisions. Now, those got really popular, so they started doing more. And then they got individual directors and they got individual series. And then Tom and Jerry becomes its own thing. Good old Tex Avery. See. Yep. Tex Avery was the fucking <coughs> man. I know. Thank you. Symphony and Slang is still one of my favorite cartoons <laughs> of all time. I know the freaking name. Um and I watched that racist ass. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm 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 about to go off on a rant. We're going on a rant. Um, save yeah. it, save it, save it, Pat. Simmer Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, what they did was when those got really popular, they would uh put them into their own blocks, and then they would make those blocks available for home purchase, and that's how we got to know <laughs> mm-hmm. uh Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies and all those. These were things that oh, would be shown man, to adults and were never meant for kids, but really j- jive with kids. So they started marketing to kids, and then toys are being made, and then breakfast cereals come about. You know, then kids are buying T-shirts and you know little toys and watching Those spin-off shows days. on Saturday afternoons. And then you eventually it culminates with the horribleness of Tom and Jerry kids. <laughs> that wasn't Why so do you bad. hate fun, Pat? Look, the kid, the dude had the freaking painter's cap with the thing flipped up like every jive. Su- Why do you hate fun, Pat? If you have anything to say on this subject, please hit us up at geekdownradio <laughs> at gmail dot com. We'll continue the conversation, or also you want to tell me how correct I am and throw out some of the references of your own. We've gone way too long on this. I apologize. Herb is over there. This man had to go to the bathroom for a half hour, and we've. I'm kidding. Lunatic, Lunatic's uh, unleash was awesome. 
Why? What? Thank you, you friend. Stop it. Sorry, stop I, it. Thank I, you no, so no, much. No more from you tonight. <laughs> Thank I, you for the support. I, I still can't, can't get off the image of like Herb as a baby with a goatee. Just, just there, <laughs> chilling, that shaving. Happened. Mama, I'm not a racist. All right, so. Um, moving on. Yeah, moving on.